Hello everyone and welcome to another video of uh, World of Warships with Ryan GB. Uh, well, it's not actually a video about World of Warships, uh, even while you will have, um, I guess, a pretty amusing um, replay to see back in the in the video. Uh, pay special attention to the chat from especially a point on wars because it gets really, really, really amusing. Anyway, this is more of a video about the story of the last month okay especially what's related with my computer so as you know back in august uh, i almost uploaded nothing because i had um, a hard drive crash took me maybe 10 days to get fixed in the meantime i could fix no i could upload nothing so i produced very few videos uh, but once i thought it was all cool and right and I have had my computer fixed and everything was great well then my cooling fan in the laptop started doing some serious serious worrisome noises kind of the thing that makes you wonder if uh, the, lap uh, the laptop is about to blow up because it really was like terrifying the noises it was making so of course, first thing I thought was, okay, I just got this fixed. Maybe they did something in the cooling fan area that uh, yeah has got in it broken or something. So I took took it back to the technical service and they told me it was nothing related with whatever they had done to the computer, um, and that the problem was was that the cooling fan uh, was broken and that I needed a replacement. However, fun things being as fun as they are, uh, turns out that they didn't have any replacement in the store. So I contacted the online store where I uh, bought my laptop. Uh, and I asked them, well, you are selling these laptops. Uh, do you have any parts for them? They told me no, they don't, because MSI, which is the... Um, brand of the computer the computer is really great it's an msi uh, 2pe apache uh, pro it's really really good it's a pretty nice gaming laptop um but well they told me that um, they couldn't they couldn't um, send me a part and that well the computer was still under warranty that i could contact um or through them i could contact the the brand and to well get the quarantine working and get a new uh, cooling fan for it but that would require me to uh, take my laptop put it in a package and send it through um, delivery service um, then it would require to them to get the package uh, take a look at it and make sure that the quarantine was valid of course and then repair it and give it back to me total time would be around three weeks one month i would have to pay nothing but except of course for the cost of uh, sending them my laptop uh, but i simply couldn't think i could make it three weeks with a laptop i would make no videos in the meantime i could would stay away from from internet, I would have no connection, I would have no computer, I need a computer. So, yeah, that was not an option. So I started looking in internet and I found a dealer which uh, dealt with um, cooling fans for laptops, specifically for the model I needed. Uh, by the way, start looking at the chat right now because it's now when, when it gets really fun. Uh, anyway, I found, well, a Chinese dealer who sold these kind of things so well i purchased, purchased one online which was not cheap not really cheap and um yeah well i purchased one this was already in the last week of august by the way um okay so i started waiting uh, i spent one full week without a computer or anything Thankfully, a friend of mine had a spare computer he could lend me. Uh, problem, of course, is the computer was <laughs> pretty <laughs> limited, let's say that. Um, I could play some World Warships on it, but with very low graphics. 
Uh, but it's pretty awesome that even with that piece of crap I could play World War Series. Uh, one has to give uh, credit to Wargaming for making a game even someone in a coffee machine could play. Uh, <laughs> of course it didn't look pretty at all, but whatever. Of course, I couldn't make videos, I couldn't render anything, I couldn't upload anything because quality would have been shit. Um, but well, I started waiting. Two weeks later, we are speaking two weeks after um, I had made the purchase, um, I started wondering what the hell was going on. So, I had the delivery number uh, of my package of my cooling fan which was being sent from China to to Spain and uh, well I used the um, postal tracker to know where the delivery was and it turned out that it seemed that the uh, package was in Spain more particularly so in Barajas Airport Madrid but uh, it was in the tolls it had been delivered there and they had it of course, it was like, what the hell? What they are doing with my package? I need this now. I mean, it's quite urgent. It's been two weeks already that I couldn't upload anything. So, I contacted the tolls and they told me that I have to wait. This is good. That I have to wait for an official notification of the delivery that they had received. And that I would have to pay for the toll costs associated with an importation. I was importing something from a foreign country after all and I was like what the fuck this is a cooling fan for a laptop are you kidding me well no they weren't kidding so well I had to sit down and wait until the official delivery note arrived to my home which was one fucking week later we are three weeks after I made the <laughs> the cooling fan uh, I had purchased the cooling fan by the way Okay, so I received this note telling me that they have received a package of one kilogram and blah blah blah, whatever, that I had to provide them with um, my identification, a copy of my um, personal identification, a copy of the um, uh, payment done to the dealer, and uh, I don't know what the hell, a lot of documentation. So, right. I sat down, I started making photos and um, screenshots and whatever of all the PayPal things that I had used to pay for this stuff. I copied my uh, personal identification uh, with a photo, I sent all the documentation, whatever. <laughs> Four days later, this is really fun, I received a notification that they have received the documentation and it's alright and they are going to proceed to value how much do I have to pay for it? And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is a one kilogram package, you should know what do I have to pay for that? Whatever. After four further days, I receive a notification that I have to pay and wait for it. 44.9 euros for it. I mean, 44.9 for the tolls to release the package. Now, the cooling fan itself plus the delivery costs, had costed me 90 euros. They wanted to charge me 44.9 euros for uh, releasing it. And I was like, uh, uh, this this is a kind of joke, I'm being stolen, so when is, this is really fun, yeah, whatever. So, the 44, this is to, so, so you can understand up to which point the bureaucrats, and bureaucrats at Spain are a collection of lazy ass freaking thieves and they have essentially yeah, theft me because they have to pay. Um, I had to pay 23% bat for, for the cooling fan, which is, well, okay, fine, I will pay, pay the bat. But after all that, I had to pay 14.1 euros for toll costs. So I have to pay for them to do their job so they can steal money from me. And in the end it all, they added another 4 euros for delivery costs of the package. Because of course they had it, they had to send it. But I had already paid for a delivery service. 
So I was having to pay them for to deliver the package to me. And not happy with those 18 extra euros they were adding to the VAT, they charged 23% extra VAT costs for the toll costs. Total 44.9. Well, you will tell me what kind of um, thief does that. But yeah. Worst part is, okay, had I had to pay that for a very fast delivery thing, because this could have been done in two days, let's be honest. They had the cooling fan in their hands since the 11th of September. I got it two days ago. Spain is different, and the tolls in this country are a fucking group of thieves. Uh, the, 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 the whatever. I mean, this, this is what you are looking at, and that's why sometimes I sit down and I think that I'm living in a freaking disaster of a country and I, a lot of people should be in the jail and not extorting <laughs> people like me because that was extortion. I needed that cooling fun. I couldn't say, fuck you, stick it in your ass, I will purchase it somewhere else because I have nowhere else, uh, nowhere else to purchase it. And I needed it for the computer. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing we had to deal with in Spain. Anyway, um, <laughs> story time is over. As you can see, I'm very happy with them. Uh, yeah, what's going to, to happen with the channel? Well, of course, I will restart this time for real, I hope, because I can't have any more things going on with computers. I mean, my computer has broken down two times this summer is enough. Um, I'm going to put out, of course, videos of World Warships. Uh, I've played quite a lot of that because I couldn't play naval action at all uh, in the other in the laptop I I had during all this last month because it wouldn't run. Um, I have to check naval action because a lot of new stuff has happened: new boarding system, um, uh, crafting system, uh, better trader things. Uh, uh, there's so much thing I have totally lost track on. And I have to, well, get up to date uh, with Naval Action again, and of course I will make videos of that. And uh, I don't know, I don't have plans, well, of course, history, history videos, the history and myths videos are going to keep on coming. Uh, the, the important thing is that we are back in action. We, w this channel is going to start uh, having videos again, because for this summer it's been almost stopped. And really, guys, I'm really sorry for those of you who really like my videos. Um, which, of course, well, maybe not as many as in a big YouTube channel, but uh, I know there are a lot of guys who, who like watching my videos, and really I'm sorry, but I couldn't do anything. It's, it's been out of my reach to make anything or to solve these issues faster than what I did. And you see up to which point I have had to go to get my computer fixed. And uh, actually, it was a pretty big idiot because uh, in the end it took me more than a month to get my computer fixed a total of 130 euros and um, a big headache and a very angry very angry feeling when i could have gotten it by free by well trying to make my warranty count however of course i would never have expected this to happen i was thinking that maybe i would be one two weeks without uh, being able to use my computer in the end, well, it didn't work out as I expected. Um, so, word of advice, I don't know where you guys live. I don't know uh, if you purchase things online, uh, if you do online shopping. But if you are planning to purchase something from a foreign state, really take a look at what it's going to cost you. Because, uh, well, this is Spain, and of course, this is a nation of stealers, uh, thieves, and uh, shameless backstabbers. <laughs> but I'm guessing that in most other nations, they w you would have had to pay quite a little bit as well. Not as much, because 44 extra cost on a 90 euro package is a shame, it's a freaking insult. But yeah, probably you are going to have to pay more than what you expected. Um, so yeah, well, learn from me being an idiot. <laughs> I could have gotten this fixed for free. I had to pay 130 euros. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll start putting up more, more videos and I hope to, to see you there. In the meantime, thank you very much for uh, watching, guys, and 
See you later. Okay, I will leave you with the results screen as well. This game is almost over anyway. <laughs>